Shamefully so. I mean, maybe Tarek. Maybe Tarek. Well, there are a couple of players out there that uh, that will show something every once in a while. Simple crouching with the D. Oh, he lands a follow-up headshot, taking down Maze. Not great. Yeah, the thing that makes this very rough is the armor that they're lacking, but somehow that doesn't even matter. The MP9 comes in. They swap that out for a, for an M4 now, and Electronic has got the health for it. It's a very awkward round indeed. But again, just remember that armor could... Oh! Forget about the armor! Sip goes down. Simple with another kill. Three of them, all headshots with the Deagle. That is why we just keep mentioning his name time and time again, and the M4 will end it. Still oh. going for the B-bomb side though. They're not slowing it down. Sip is falling back, but Glaive is still in here. And they're not checking it. That's a one. They line up for him and a beautiful triple kill. They thought they had it all figured out once. They saw Sip falling back down there. I think they thought, all right, that's it. We've, we've done it with Electronic. Still a bit of a flank coming in. He can bring it right back. They have no idea he's here. There's the first kill. Simple, he's looking for the flank at the moment, but Electronic cannot convert. Simple has the intel. He knows exactly where Glaive is, but great movement from Glaive to stay alive. He's forcing Simple to be the aggressor, trying to find this kill before the flank comes in, because Magus is creeping behind him, and he can't even handle the first. That's every single one from Glaive. Yeah, I look forward to seeing that. It's definitely interesting, but Astralis, they're so good on the T side as well. Do not underestimate them. And we're live in the game, and they have got a lot of smokes on that T side. Blowing up the door, throwing in a flashbang and a smoke to get down. And they've got two people and Glaive with a headshot. That is such a huge amount of success. Now, Simple did flank around and take down Glaive. So that's not bad, but popping open the door. And Dupree will take the fight. Perfecto there. But the bomb, oh, they actually come off it. I think he almost wanted to do it immediately, Sip, but he waits. He did, but he was the only one in the bomb site and that's a great follow-up kill from simple but device is lying in wait and he simple's got another one a third player coming to challenge and simple's ready for that as well device is kind of working the ramp at the same time and that's where flamey is holding with one of those mp9s magus is paired up with him as well so yeah flamey's gonna have a task he'll have to drop down if he has contact he's got no support coming so that's a tough fight big win for electronic and there goes flamey to the lower bomb site Oh, there's the pressure put on simple rotating in that's one of the orgs gone or the, the org that they had and this is a big problem now 50 seconds on the clock and flamey in a position but again that medium range for the mp9 it's not exactly great they'll get the one and he actually turns around what a great job from flamey that could have been nothing at all instead it's a two on two and plenty of health there on the on the Astralis side, which is a bit of an issue. We nearly caught that Dupree now. Is the timing going to be against him? He's kind of looking the wrong way, and Perfecto will take him down. That is some unfortunate timing. And Magus now in a one versus two. He knows where both of them are, though. They at least have the information to call that out. So Magus going to get aggressive towards the window. He's going to peek. He's going to find that kill. The pounce needs to be right now. And Perfecto not expecting Magus to be posted up. They, they need some early kills with the with the pistols here. It's not going to be a, a round that's even really worth talking about. I don't even know what Navi. I mean, at this point in time, you're you're hoping that someone at a corner with that CC could get into a series of fights. Electronic will take one. It's an important that he's not traded as well. He brings it into yeah. a four on four. That could have been a big thing for Astralis to get. You can see they're keeping some range between them because they have the rifles. And I mean, this is where it gets even dicier. If they make their way all the way up to heaven, how do you really defend against that with just the CZ? Aggression in towards lobby. They found one. They can salvage that weapon. And well, now it's very interesting, not just because of the advantage, but the time that's oh, left. Flamey. 28 seconds. You're right. He's still hiding in that corner with the Deagle. They do check for it, but an instant headshot to take one down. They'll get it, but only 20 seconds on the clock. They can't really afford to be slowed down now. That's a heads up peak from play. That's that's so well uh, done. They spotted him on the jump. Perfecto had no idea he was spotted. I don't think he would have held that angle, but the door is open. Boomich has got to be careful behind him. It's all down to timing. They know where he is as well. And now he got that with the jump. Glaive's going to try and plant this bomb. There's no time. They just need to survive, and Boomich has got that as well. And there's the flashbang. There's the clear, and that's exactly why it gets awkward. That's too long to just be sitting out there making no presence known. And now the rest of this push is really unimpressive because it's so signaled. Electronics already cleared the one side and now they're just all stuck on top of each other. Nothing about this is actually what we want to see, except for Navi. Again, just the, the timing on the smoke and the fact that they clear the yard with the flashbang. Astralis don't know yet. They've fallen back from that top banana position. So there's a window here for Navi to actually use that and just try and hit this bomb site before more people show up.
Smoke going deep to block off on the one side, and they're gonna wrap around Quad. So they just don't want to fight there for the minute. Dupree down. Oh, actually, it's Device instead. Two big headshots to slow them down. Dupree still waiting oh in graveyard. God. He's gonna stand up, just popping out of the box, oh. and he lands one more. Oh. Oh, that's disgusting! Taking down another one. Dupree with a beautiful triple. Right, oh sorry, left instead. They would have ran into three people, but they find an empty bomb site. I can't believe it. And now they're just wrapping in, trying to oh, get no. that bomb plant. The boost is not working on top of this. And Navi, what do you do? They almost have to give this one up. You do, you have to save. This, this is just a str I don't even think a Strauss meant for that to be a fake. That, that's, that's just awkward positioning and awkward rotation, miscommunication. A second player was coming back from the B bomb site. That might open things up. Oh, that's definitely gonna do it. They're going for this now. Oh, surely not. I mean, that bomb has been down for a while. Dupree back in the corner, the Molotov pushing him away. He goes down as well, electronic with a kill, and that leaves Device one versus three, and he tries it, but it's not enough. 50 seconds on the clock right now, and this is what it comes down to. Simple's fallen really far back. He's actually lost a fair bit of the map control there. That leaves Perfecto and Electronic inside of a bomb site that is about to get pinched from two different angles, and they need to win the first fight. Device will take down Perfecto, Electronic in the pit. Can he stand tall one last time? He lines them all! Oh, no! A beautiful spray! Electron is hit! That's it! 16 14. They aren't st thrown strong enough. Man, utility being thrown all over, but that is a readjustment from Poison. Vitality are coming to this B-bomb site. Yeah. Apex, he's gonna try to get that flashbang over. Poison, before being blinded, topples one, and he's ready for the next. It's a duo of ops. Oh, it's a thing of beauty. I think he's harmless. I think he's harmless. <laughs> you think so? I think maybe. Yeah, yeah, say it to his face. <laughs> Here comes Poison. It's a quick op frag, but pistols can be dangerous. And Vitality, well, they've got numbers over here towards the B site. Let's go, Blame. We heard you roar. And now he's going to get two more off of the back of the site. Poison just skims the shot by through smoke. Hopeful he is. Oh, spray goes awry there from Shocks, and he'll turn tail back to Banana to see if he can get this kill. Could be critical. Gobo, he wants to hold this position while his teammates work. If he dies, things get weird. Shocks is in the best after plant position. Mm -hmm. He's just got to clear all these corners. Deagle shot, just a bit off. Yep, RPK flushed behind new box. That's a crisp headshot. There's the second. Oh, oh there's the third. Made it a 5v4 Ooh. immediately. Oh, chance here. RPK gets a solid entry, but a greater spray from Blame F. Shocks will eventually trade 1v3 opportunity for him. There is a player low that's poison. He has yep. a lot of time to work to try to draw up a picture that's in his mind for how he thinks this clutch will go. He'll play it standard now as the bomb goes down. Yeah. Will this be the correct option? A 1v4, in fact. Like you said, Poison susceptible on 18 health. But Shox is patient at the moment. Poison. Oh my god, he runs through his own Molotov, making the kill even easier. A fadeaway frag, and one back the other way. He's just going to be looking to play this post plant. He needs headshots, oh, and he's got them! He does it! Shoxie! Keeping Vitality in this. They won't have two chances to do this. Boost here from Zywoo. Great shot. Excellent. Blame F gets taken at, down at the bottom by Logs. Teammate behind can't actually do anything here. No gun recovered for complexity. Or sorry, for Vitality. So it's just too far out. Zywoo will have more to do. Ooh. Drops the hammer down on Config. Takes him out. A key, figure, a key figure from the previous rounds in the bomb. Yep. Now in their territory, however. Poison still behind it. Complexity, we're about to scramble for this one, but they still have the tools to take this intelligently. And they seem like they're about to do it. Oboe's honed in on the sandbags. There goes Alex, the only player that was here to defend Zywu. Oh, and all the while, Rush, yep, mm -hmm. he's walked right up arch side. He cuts off the CT player and completely isolates Vitality's players. It absolutely has to be A. They know that Zai was the only one who saved last round, and they've just killed two players that didn't have head armor. P250 and a USP. Both CTs here in the back of the site. And as long as they play the timing right, they should all go down. But RPK, are you kidding? He's going to get his hands onto the off, but not fast enough. He can't swap. So Zaiwu has a doable 1v2. But he's scared, Mohan, and he's yeah. going to go ahead and say, that's They're talking it. about it. They know that he has to take this off into the next round. They're not so sure about their economy from this point on. 3T is about to challenge this. It's a shotgun. It's inconsistent, but it is enough. 
An assist and a frag. Ooh, and a bit more. Poison. He could have tried to claw back that map control, but instead, he'll move away with his life and half his health. They changed fights. They're going into yep. the two MP9s. It's Not rapid. A bad spot. Rotates are in. One player in CT. Are they going to clear him or cut? Yeah, they do. Wow. Rush takes him out. Headshot. Now Rush gives chase to Zaiwu, who just cheats his way back through smoke. Alex looking to catch any attempt at a CT spawn rotation. And Poison, well, he also has the patience to wait. It feels like Poison's so aware in these moments. Oh my god. Whoa. Rush caught, caught sleeping. sleeping. Stop doing that. I almost slipping, you almost sleeping. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. It's close, man. Nine on ten. Chill. Here's poison though. Trying to get back into the site. Oh, if complexity finished this off like this, this would be incredible. Are you kidding? Alex. 84. It's done! Like the limbs of Exodia, complexity comes together out of nowhere. I introduce you to North America's newest juggernaut. A shocking result in group B.